Hello, welcome to JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 13, Part 2, JavaScript Loop, The Do While Loop, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the Do While Loop in JavaScript. And here are the basic loops. They are while, do while, and for loop. In the last session, we learned about the while loop. And in this session, we are going to understand what is do while loop, and also we are going to understand the working nature of do while loop. Okay. Keep in mind, JavaScript includes another flavor of while loop, that is do while loop. And also, uh, it's very important to remember the do while loop is similar to while loop. But the only difference is it evaluates the condition expression after the execution of code block. So to understand this sentence very clearly, let me jump into Visual Studio Code and let me show you a demo there. Okay, and here is my HTML page and also I have a script tag. So let me start writing a JavaScript. So what I'm what I'm going to show you right now is a demo of do while loop. So let me initialize a variable uh, called i okay and now let me show you a demo of while loop while i is less than 5 okay it has to alert or it it can you can do like this the document dot write okay then increment the i until the condition satisfies okay now when I do controllers now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this page to the browser let me see what is the output we are going to get so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to navigate to the folder where I've stored that HTML page this is the page this is the folder sorry and here is the folder and when I double click on that you can observe we will get something like you can observe 0 1 2 3 4 okay this is what happening in while loop what while loop is doing here is it is checking the condition first okay then it is execu executing this code block but the do while is it's not the same as while loop it's a bit different the do while loop is similar to while loop the only difference is it evaluates the condition expression after the execution of code block so um, here is my code block this is the code block and in the do while loop it happens something like the condition will be at the last and this is going to execute first the code block is going to execute first then the condition checking is going to happen at the last okay this here is a code snippet for that exactly okay you can observe very clearly here is the code snippet for the do while loop and I have, I have the same here now when I do control s and let me go back to the browser and let me refresh again we're getting the same output that is 0 1 2 3 4 the difference is only the one thing okay the do while loop the do while loop is similar to while loop but the only difference is it evaluates the condition expression after the execution of code block in the sense after the execution of this code block the condition is evaluated that's the difference of while and do while okay and that's what we understood right now and here is a code snippet for that and last but not uh, last but not uh, the least we have to understand this sentence also the do while loop will execute the code block at least once okay in the sense you can observe very clearly uh, here the below code snippet or this example shows you that the do while loop will execute the code block even after the condition turns out to be false okay uh, in the first iteration in the sense you can observe very clearly uh, here we have a code block and also we have a, a while condition specifying here like uh, i is greater than 1 but keep in mind the value of i is 0 and 0 is never greater than 1 so what happens here is um, the do while loop in the do while loop the code block is going to execute at least once even if the condition fails so in the sense we are going, going to get the output as 0 Okay, actually in the while loop this does not happen because condition checking will be, will happen at the starting only but here the condition checking is ap happening after the code block execution is done so do while loop will execute the code block at least once even if the condition specified here is failing so let me show you a demo of it it's very simple um, now what I need to do is 
yes it's here now let me take the same example what I've taken here okay while has greater than 1 now I'll specify the condition as i is greater than 1 but that is not true because the value of i is 0 and 0 is never greater than 1 now when I do this let me go back to the browser and let me refresh you can observe we are getting 0 why we are getting 0 because even if the condition is false we're getting the output as 0 because okay the do while loop will execute the code block at least once even if the condition is failing okay this is what the speciality of do while loop okay and that's what we learned in this session and finally Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ankh Pro Training. You can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further reference, refer our websites. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.